Rakesh. Hey guys, uh, this is Rakesh, uh, Senior Director at o Odessa, Texas. We're over here at Paula Williams' house. Uh, we had a stream social. We're having a get-together, and there was uh, an associate of hers that needed to do a uh, enroll her mobile, and I figured that it would be a, a great idea just to video uh, just a video of this live presentation or live uh, mobile enrollment. Uh, I know I've I've been asked a lot of questions, so I think this will help a, a lot of people out, and we'll upload this video later on. So there's two ways that you could actually enroll for mobile. You could either do it through uh, your website or you could actually do it through your back office now uh, uh, Chris if you'll see that right there. That's my website. Okay, so you could actually um, Do it from your website um, Whatever it is, but we're going to do do it through her back office So the way that you do it through your back office is that you're going to press um, stream services and you're going to mobile All right, and it takes you through each step. So what Trisha is going to do, she's going to enroll for the GSM network, and what she did actually is she purchased a Go phone. Where'd you get it from, Trisha? Target. From Target, okay. So this is her Go phone. It's a Windows phone. Uh, they are compatible. All right. So that's what we're going to do. Click on enroll today. So Trisha, what you're going to do is put in your zip code. Click go. Okay, there we go. Okay. So what you're going to do is click on get started. And so since Trisha is bringing her own device, she's not going to shop for a phone, right? So what she's going to do is click on the bring your own device tab. And then what we're going to do, this is a pertinent piece of information. We're going to find what you call the IMEI number. <clears throat> Chris, if you want to get this right. And it, yes, if you do have a phone, it's on the label. Okay. okay. And also, if you don't have, have, have the box, <clears throat> Trisha took this apart. I don't know how she did it, but I'll let her do it. All right. But you could take that phone apart. You might, I know how to find the IMEI in an iPhone, but I'm not sure about a Windows phone. It's right there. But there it is, okay? Right so there. that is a pertinent piece of information. We have to have that. So, Trisha, what we're going to do is we're going to put in that long ESI, I mean, I'm sorry, IMEI number. All right? So, let me back up. So what you do is just click in the box. All right? Okay, so we're going to. Is that right? Yes. So yeah, so this is a very this is very important that we get it right. If you have to double check it two or three times, make uh, j just make sure you get this number right. Okay. So we're not going to get a new number. Uh, we're going to transfer her number from Verizon. So before we started doing this, what Trisha had to do is she had to call Verizon to get her account number and her passcode, okay, which she did do. So you want to make sure that yourself or your customer gets those two. If you're going to transfer your number, you need to get the, the, the account number as well as the passcode. And passcode, it doesn't mean when you log into your online account. What, it, what it's talking about is when you call into the actual call center. All right, so go ahead and put in your existing number that, that you won't port it over. So her current provider is Verizon. Say goodbye to Verizon, Trisha. Bye. <laughs> so long, sorry, Nara. Uh, so, okay, yeah, sorry. So how much did you pay for that GoPhone? Well, it was on sale for 39 something, but it's about $49. Nice. Recently. 
-hmm. that's, so that's a good option, guys. I mean, if, if you can't afford a phone or you want to wait until the latest and greatest phone, well, what you want to do is just, you know, just get... Um, so I can get one of these for my son. Yeah, and, and, and a good option is just to get your number ported over. You can just get your Go phone. If you don't get... A, if there's not a phone in the stream store that you don't desire, just get something like that for right now. And then once, once the stream store does come out with the phone that you would like, buy it later. Okay, so she did a... So that's the option that she's taking because I think you wanted a... I don't, I'm not sure what you're waiting on, Well, I, Trisha, I want to get a... I want to get into the different plan with the unlimited, but okay. I need to wait gotcha. for the money for the other phone. Got gotcha. you. So it, it, with some uh, providers, um, it, like with your Verizon or AT&T account, if you haven't set up a passcode, most of the time the default passcode will be the last four digits of your social. So she's just putting in her first name, last name. Okay, guys, so what you want to do is, is there's three boxes. You want to put in your street number, your street name, and then if there's a direction, you would put the east, west, northwest, and all that good stuff. So that's what she did. All right, go ahead. So she's done doing her address, right? And and so, so now, if you want to add another plan or if you have more uh, uh, devices that you would like to add, you would click bring another device. But since she just wants one device, she's going to click continue. Did you press it hard? Uh, okay. It's okay. Let me see if there's something. That's okay. And here's something. Here's a quick tip, guys. This is this is what will mess everything up on okay. your enrollment. Get rid of the dash. No dashes. No periods. No characters. Okay. So we got to get rid of that dash. That's what was holding us back. So the account number is correct. Okay. So then we're going to click continue. All right. Trisha is going to choose her plan. Talk and text, one gig, three gig, five gig. And before she um, decided to switch over, I'm sure that she called Verizon, right? And you figured out, and you know what data plan you're on. Yeah. Um, so just go ahead and pick your data plan, which is which will be good enough for you. Is this still the plan without the contract, so that I can change it if I want? Of course, to? you can change it anytime you want to. Okay. All right. Okay. So you're choosing the three gigabyte plan. Yeah. Go ahead and um, keep scrolling. So what you're going to do is continue to check out. All right, and then she's gonna put all her personal information here. Is it pretty easy my, so far, Trisha? Yeah. Okay. It didn't come up like this though. Or maybe I was missing that tab at the top, I think. Cause that's what I was looking for and I just, just looking yeah. over it. Okay. So these two phones are the same. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Put your pri primary phone number, no problem. And then right now, guys, she put in her uh, mobile number. She's putting in her social security number. Um, oh, that's email I mean, address. she's fixing to put in her email address, and then she's going to put her social security number as well. You guys, the hardest enrollment, mobile enrollment that, that you'll have is when you're transferring numbers. Um, the easiest is when you're just doing a new number. That's a no-brainer. Um, but even when you do enough um, number transfers, it becomes very easy. And remember, when you're putting in your social, you don't want to put the dashes or anything like that. Go ahead and click continue. So I believe the next screen is going to ask um, for her to verify her identity. And if you've done electric accounts, guys, you got, I'm pretty sure uh, you're used to this. So it's going to ask you those four identity questions. So you're going to come to this screen, guys, verify your identity. All right. Verify your identity, and then she's going to answer all the questions. After she verified her identity, this is what it looks like. They're going to charge her the activation fee, which is $35. And then taxes is taxes and fees is three. What is that? Chris, seventy six. Mm -hmm. So the total is thirty eight dollars and seventy six cents, and that's what's due today. Okay. So what Trisha is going to do is she's going to uh, fill out all her credit card details. So she put in her credit card details, and it's processing. So what it's going to do, and we don't want to remember the credit card, so not now. So what it's going to do is going to generate an account number. So check it out, this is a successful enrollment. It says congratulations on completing your order. There you go, thank you. 
And this is her account number, so Trisha, you probably I'll, I'll screenshot it for you. Uh, I'm gonna take a picture. Of okay. And so the the account number is just a four digit number. So after this, guys, the the SIM cards are normally taking about anywhere from three to five days. Uh, today is what Wednesday? Is it? No, What's today? Thursday. Thursday. I don't even know my days. So more than likely, she'll either get it maybe Tuesday of next week or possibly Thursday. All right. And then so. It's a no-brainer. Um, I don't think I can make a video for this, but when she gets her SIM card, um, it, they're, they're going to give her a number in order to call, and, sh and she'll be instructed on how to insert that SIM card into her new phone. Uh, but that's it. And it, it, it normally takes anywhere from 9 to 10, maybe 7 to 10 minutes, uh, but that's all there is to the mobile enrollment. All right, thanks.